So, you know, what causes cancer? So, you know, there's this commonly uh, held belief that uh, cancer is a result of uh, genetic damage. Um, but there is, you know, less than 5% of all cancers have this uh, genetic uh, link. Um, so, beg your pardon. Um, so there is this alternative theory, and one that I adhere to, is that cancer is more of a disease process, yeah? Um, it's a process that develops over many years, driven by different types of toxicity and the different uh, types of toxicity. So we can put them in two categories, internal stresses, things like thoughts, emotions, and trauma, and external stresses, which is a whole uh, long list of things like uh, cosmetics, uh, hair drives, uh, dyes, deodorants, chemotherapies, etc. And as you'll see down at the bottom of that list, not that it is particularly at the bottom, okay, it's not in any particular order, is EMFs. And in any case, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's one which even the um, alternative medical community, you know, the non-mainstream community uh, has very little uh, knowledge over. It's not, it's not really talked about. And yet it is there. It's clearly there. It is uh, an external stressor. So what's the difference? Uh, what's the evidence? I mean, what is the evidence to, you know, uh, that I can present to you? So there's, uh, these basically four lines of evidence, which I'm going to share with you today. And firstly, uh, that um, that these wireless exposures dysregulate these voltage-gated calcium channels. So this is based on the work of uh, Dr. Martin Paul, Professor Emeritus at Washington State University, who's done some brilliant work on this. So he's not that he's discovered that there are these voltage-gated calcium channels. That's been known for a long time. It's that these... Um, these wireless exposures, you know, from be it from uh, cell towers, cell phones, uh, smart devices, smart meters, uh, Bluetooth, um, that these exposures dysregulate these channels, these voltage gated calcium channels. And we've got somebody's with their mic open uh, with a, a child that is not happy there. Um, and so these voltage gated calcium channels are. Um, and, and, and our cells, so these, these voltage gated cancer channels on, are on the cell membranes. So, you know, we've got these trillions and trillions of cells in our body. And this, um, they're like uh, doorways, and the doorways should be opening and closing and re regulating the calcium uh, in and out of the cells. And when we're exposed to wireless, then this font is like the door's going crazy, okay? And this creates these uh, carbonyl free radicals. I'm sure you've heard about free radicals. And this free radical um, production uh, damages your DNA, DNA cell membranes, your proteins, your stem cells, disrupts cell division, my mitosis, and also damages your mitochondria, yeah, which are the little energy factories in your cell, super important uh, for for health. Uh, so this is this is peer reviewed research, okay, and um, this has been really uh, very well accepted by the scientific community. Um, this work of uh, Dr. Martin Paul, and um, so yeah, so the um, so just to finish on that, so what we're actually finding what what this uh, shows this um, work by Dr. Martin Paul is that the the upshot of these this wireless exposures is the result of all of these of these wireless exposures you know the, everything that we're using all this wireless that we're surrounded by is is biological damage which is the same as the biological damage which is caused by the ionizing radiation. Yes. Remember where I was talking about the ionizing rays so the ionizing radiation, you know, the gamma rays and so on and so forth. Um, and, um, you know, the x-rays and all. So that that is the result is we've got this. Um, it, it, it's, it's causing the, the result is the same, the same, the set that amounts to the same, which is, which is um, super important. Mm -hmm.